this is an Excel payroll, which it has eight sections. We have database section, the current month section. We have the pay section. This one event should name it as pay, not the carry. But, uh, we have the share or the shift. We have housing levy. We have the NSSF. We have the P9 and we have the pay slip. So all these are automated, fully automated. You can't do anything here. I will take step by step to show you how to fit this data and how this Excel work. The first one <clears throat> is your database. This database, based on my customization, which you can also customize to include whatever you want to capture in your payroll. The first one is the payroll number. You just need to type your payroll number as per the record of the employees, the first name, and then we have the last name, and then the full name. The reason why I'm splitting this first name and the last name is because of filing of the SHA and NSSF. Remember, they have to split the first name and the last name. That's why I'm separating it in my database. So with first name, the last name, the Excel will combine for you to get the full name. For example, if I change this one to MK instead of JK, I uh, change to MK. Let's put a capital MK. So if I change to MK, the Excel will automatically do for me that. The Excel will automatically do for me that. And then we have the section. We have the section of um, the section of the titles, you can put your own titles based on the, the records of the employee, KRA pin, the ID number, the phone number. <clears throat> the reason also why I'm capturing the phone number here is because the share need the phone number to be filed, account number, the uh, share number, and safe number, and the basic pay. You can also customize it. Remember, you can insert the account, the bank name, you can insert the branch, the swift code based on what you need to capture so it is a uh, you can the only side which you can customize is the database so once you customize the database everything else in the other worksheet will be automatically updated and then so after database you come to the current month this is where now the payroll number is being extracted from the database so this payroll number you can see i've linked the payroll number to the database. And once the payroll number has been extracted, once the payroll number has been extracted, everything else here will be out of field. For example, if I delete this payroll number, that if I delete, let's say I delete this payroll number, what will happen? So if I delete this payroll number, you can see all the data here will be swift off. So which mean our key item here is the payroll number. It is the driver of all these other items. So you cannot, you don't need to fill anything here. It is only for allowance. You can see allowance, it doesn't have the formula, which you, can't, um, you can add another column here and start putting the allowance. If you need a transport allowance, lunch allowance then you can still put here so once you put the column and customize it you only need to uh, change this gross pay to capture the the allowance you have inserted and everything here will be what will be automatically and remember once you insert another column here the all the p910 will be affected so you also because this the p910 we have used a vlookup for that so it will, if you insert one column, it will shift the number of a uh, column. Remember, VLOOKUP uses the column. So you also need to be keen. You go and update your PINA, P19. Are we okay? So make sure that uh, once you insert a column, be keen on the other sheet because it will shift. If you, for example, if you check P19, if you go to basic pay, 
Our views are view lookup for basic pay. If you check the basic pay is column three. So if you insert a column here, the basic pay, if it is a column three. So if you insert another, let's say for uh, NSF is uh, how many column? One, two, three, four, five, five, six. So if you insert another column, NSF will shift to the column seven. So you make sure that you update the other side. Good. So when you go to the yes, so I've said once you change anything here, the other unit or the other worksheet will be affected. So you can see the total pay here is three seventeen three fifteen point zero eight, which will be the same on the pay worksheet. So if you go to pay worksheet, it is it is the same. So everything here will be out of out of field. The same with SHA. If you go to the SHA, where we have the payroll number, the first name, the last name, that is the reason why we had to separate the first name and the last name in our database section because of this filing of SHA. This is the format of the filing SHA. You need to have the payroll number, this one all the way to the phone number. So if you check the total of the contribution for the SHA, is that 8149.03, which will be the same with amount we have it in the uh, in the column, this column session. I'm not getting the total of this. This one is not corresponding with that because of the these these 300. So because remember this this one we don't have the data here. So our share only is from this point. This is the set limit of the share. Remember, you cannot contribute less than 300. So this is the, the set limit, which if you don't have this data, you just need to delete this column. It will not be necessary for you. So once you delete this column, you will get the correct value of share. You will get the correct value of share. And then uh, the same case applied to NSSF. The total NSF here is 39554.25, which will be the same also in our NSSF column, which it is okay. And we have two set of column, employer contribution and employee contribution and the total. So that is it. You don't also need to worry when it comes to the filing of pay. We have prepared for you also the P910. So the P910 also is a fully automated. So you have everything here. So what you only need to do while filing these pay, you just need to click at the top here and then uh, click control C, click control C, and then uh, go to file, open a new workbook. So once you open a new workbook, so once you open a new workbook, copy here, but copy without formulas. Remember that P910, it has formulas. So copy without formulas. How? You click Control Alt V, and then use the values all. Or you can go to Special here, paste Special, and find the one with values, right? So, but I prefer the shortcut. It's very easy. Control Alt V, and then paste values. So I will paste values. Click OK, and then now remember, if you check the So if you go to that P19, we don't have the payroll number. So once you copy as values, what you only need to do is to delete this column A. And what happened if you delete this column A? This other column will move to the right. So you delete this column and you realize other these columns move to the right. So the only column which will be affected is column M. If you go to that P9, we don't have values in column M. It is always empty. So it should remain empty. So what you do, you cut all these zeros in column M and paste it in column L here. Yeah. And then now you are P910 Excel is ready, is ready for you to use. And also you delete these other sections, which they don't have the pin, they don't have the data. Delete that one. Now you have your clean data. So what you, once you have this, 
you save it as a CSV file. You know how to save as a CSV file. You go to save as, browse, and then in there as a Excel type, select the CSV command delimited and you will be ready or your Excel CSV will be ready for uploads. So that's what I wanted to share about this payroll. Also, we have the pay, pay slip. Let me share again the pay slip. So the pay slip, which is the last worksheet, is also fully automated. You can see we have um, the, the name of the company. This is not, you can now, now automate or do customization of the detail based on your company. But for the payroll number, it is fully automated. You use the drop down list to select the payroll number. So once you select the payroll number, for example, payroll number five, everything else here will be, you can see the name. The name has changed to ELN. If we go to the payroll section, let's see the payroll, the parcel number five, if it is EL number five, yes, the full name is ELN. And then um, ELN, you also have their deduction here. You also have their deduction here. So it is, uh, you can see when you change this one, everything here is changed. I think the basic pay is not changing because it is uh, somehow the same. Most of the basic pay, they are the same. Yes, you can see that is uh, eight. Most of the, let's put number seven because that is the one which has a different basic pay. If you put number seven here, you can see the basic pay is changing everything else up to the net pay. So this payroll is fully automated, which uh, you can also get this full payroll in the, in the link section below, or you can call the number in that description section to get this fully automated payroll. So thank you and have a nice week for the payroll preparation.